it is being contained. And do you not think it's being contained? There are at least 546 uh, cases. The virus is now in 34 states and the District of Columbia. The death toll is 22. It is being contained. 100 countries are now reporting cases. It is being contained. The demand on health care providers is surging. It is being contained. We're going to see a complete overwhelming of the entire medical system. It is being contained. There is no vaccine and a delay getting those test kits. It is being contained. You don't want to alarm people, but given the spread we see, you know, anything is possible. It is being contained. And do you not think it's being contained? Well, if the White House can't be trusted, at least we have public servants in Congress, like Florida's Matt Gates, who, for example, had so much fun mocking the coronavirus outbreak by wearing a gas mask on Capitol Hill just days before a resident in his home district died of coronavirus. Good morning and welcome to Morning Joe. It is Monday, March 9th. With us, we have White House reporter for the Associated Press, Jonathan Lemire, host of MSNBC's Politics Nation and president of the National Action Network, Reverend Al Sharpton, president of the Council on Foreign Relations and author of the forthcoming book, a Wor The World, a brief Interjection, uh, Richard Haas and U.S. national editor at the Financial Times, Edward Luce, joins us this morning. We have more fast-moving developments with the coronavirus. The number of cases are surging here in the U.S. from 230 cases on Friday to at least 546 cases this morning. The virus is now in 34 states and the District of Columbia, which reported its first case this weekend. The death toll is 22. Anxiety has now hit Congress. Senator Ted Cruz and Congressman Paul Gore have self-quarantined after coming in contact with someone who tested positive at CPAC, the popular South by Southwest festival, which brings millions, hundreds of millions of dollars, million dollars into the local economy in Austin, Texas, has been canceled. One of the world's top tennis tournaments in Indian Wells in Southern California has also been canceled. Columbia University has canceled classes for today and tomorrow. Rice University in Texas has canceled classes all week due to the spreading coronavirus. The historic Christ Church of Georgetown canceled Sunday service for the first time since the 19th century after its rector tested positive for the virus. And then the markets. Wall Street is poised for another bloodbath. Dow futures pointing to a more than 1,200 point plunge as a perfect storm hits the financial sector. Fear over the coronavirus and a war over oil prices. And now health experts say the virus is at a point of rapid <coughs> acceleration here in the U.S. Despite those claims from the president's top political appointees that the virus is contained. I will still argue to you that this is contained. I might, it, it can't be airtight. It is being contained. And do you not think it's being contained? Underway here in the United States. There's a very large outbreak in Seattle. That's the one we know about. Probably one in Santa Clara, maybe other parts of the country, other cities. And so we're past the point of containment. We have to implement broad mitigation strategies. Now we're shifting into a mitigation phase, which means that we're helping communities understand you're going to see more cases. Unfortunately, you're going to see more deaths. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.